Hey y'all, welcome back to Exclusive Tea. Welcome back to Exclusive Tina, where everything's exclusive. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're turning, what's up y'all? So I got asked the question, how did I get my locks locked up so fast? And I'm just like, my locks did lock up kind of fast, didn't they? So if you're new to my channel, I am 10 months locked. I want to give a disclaimer. I'm not a professional. I'm not a lactician. I'm just here to share my journey and my experience with y'all when it comes to my beautiful locks. Everybody's hair type is different. So what may work for me may not work for you. It is what it is, okay? Don't come for me if it don't work for you because I'm telling y'all that it might not work, okay? So when I got asked this question, when I got asked this question, I was like, let me go back and look at my pictures. So at five months, this was in October 2022, I don't really consider myself fully locked, but I was looking like a potato head. Let me tell y'all that. This is what my hair looked like at five months. I can laugh at this now, but then it wasn't funny. Like I was really trying to embrace my hair. Like I was, I was trying to just accept accept it being short. So let me show y'all what my hair looked like at seven months. This was December of 2022. And this, I feel like, is when my hair started to actually look like locks. Okay, do y'all see this right here? Y'all see how short my hair was in the front? It was barely touching my forehead. Now I'm at eyebrow length. Like I'm on the way to eye length. Like that's my next milestone. And I'm so excited about that because it's eyebrow, eye, nose, lips. <laughs> when you start out short, you got different length goals, okay? So we're making it there to the eye length. I have a little list of all the things that I think that has helped me with my lock journey. And I'm gonna just share them with y'all. So the first thing is watering my hair. I know, it's like watering a plant. I watered my hair so much for the first five months, like drench my hair under the shower. At the beginning, once a week, I would drench my hair with water. Like I wanted to feel the movement so bad. I would just wet my hair so much and I do think that helped with my budding process. It's gonna expand when it's wet and it's gonna shrink up when it dries. So it just makes sense to me that that would help my hair lock up faster. I did that for the first five months and then I don't do that anymore. I just mist my hair and wash my hair. So I don't just get out of the shower and just wet my whole head unless I'm washing it. Then after the five months, I would just mist my hair maybe like twice a day. Like I wanted the movement, all of it. And for me to get movement, my hair had to be wet. <laughs> so water, I do think is the secret to getting your hair locked up faster. I just think that is the number one thing to get your hair locked up faster. And then the next thing for me, I feel like is training your hair. For my one year lock journey, I had a plan to retwist my hair every month until my hair was trained to how I want it. I feel like I'm to the point where my hair is trained. My retwists are lasting for more than a month now, but at first they weren't. So I would retwist my hair, making sure all the hairs are in the lock that they're supposed to be. And I do feel like that does help with your hair locking up faster. That's just my opinion. Like this is a part of my journey that I am training my hair to be. So I do feel like learning how to train your hair will help your hair lock up faster. So the next thing I feel like has helped is my retwisting products. This. This right here, this is super girl hair gel and it has me in a chokehold. This stuff, it's staying. It's not, it's not the best smelling hair gel, but this stuff, this stuff definitely keeps my retwist lasting. And it's something about this product, like when I retwist my hair and I start spritzing my hair, like misting my hair throughout the week, it kind of like activates the gel. I don't know if it makes sense or not, but I just feel like when I use this product on my roots, it kind of like helps it lock up on my roots. So these last two things, I do think they helped a little bit, but not for real, for real. So one of them is crocheting. I crocheted my locks maybe like two times at the beginning of my lock journey. Some of the locks just need a little bit more help than others. So I would crochet like my locks, but as soon as I would crochet them, 
they would like frizz up after I would like miss them. So I don't really know if that really helped with my lock journey. I know frizz is a part of it, but I felt like I could maybe probably just skip that part, but I'm not really sure. I don't even crochet my hair anymore. I don't fix parts that need to be fixed. I just let them be. I let them be how they're supposed to be. I mean, it could help, probably help some people more than others, but for me, I just don't feel like it really served a purpose in my lock journey. And then the next thing I feel like that has helped was working out. Uh, I worked out maybe for like the beginning, maybe around month three of my lock journey. And when I would sweat around the perimeters, I noticed that like my roots would be locked up fast too. And I think that sweating had something to do with it. I don't know what type of reaction it has to like locking up hair but it did seem like it helped my hair lock up i don't work out anymore i need to start back working out but i do think that that was something that did help with my hair locking up fast so if you need a little motivation to lose weight and lock your hair just go to the gym and you're, you're taking two and one out you might as well just you know i need to go back to the gym and i need to get my little workout life back together but these are just tips that i feel like has helped me throughout my lock journey that i feel like it could help some other people um and i wanted to share that with y'all so that is the end of this video make sure you like comment subscribe hit the notification bell if you want to see my face a little bit more and i'll see y'all next time bye